y'all it's Reagan and I am coming to you from my um, house today I wanted to share an organizational tip because I've been organizing like crazy and I'm excited to show you some new products that I have but also how I organize them because I know in the summer that's just so exciting to get control of your resources and get motivated for the next year and kind of leisurely look at what you have and um, we just don't have time for it during the school year it's just way too impossible so this is my favorite rest and recharge organization time so I have um, in front of me the kindergarten first grade and second grade math centers journals and printables these are sets in my store that go along with guided math so if you're doing um, any sort of guided math structure in your room and you have math stations or math rotations to fill that's what these are all about um, they are monthly and they are thematic but most importantly they are standard spaced and so I love to give my kiddos some fun exciting thematic rigorous standard space centers and they love it too it's our favorite time of the day so I'm excited to share these with you because typically um, I'm sharing first grade materials with you and that is where my heart is that is my um, grade level of love however I've been developing the guided math series for K1 and 2 this past year and so I wanted to also provide math centers and activities for those math rotations that go along with those guided math units so that is what this is all about and I'm excited to show it to you so I'm going to start with first grade because that's something that I'm really comfortable with and um, I've shown this probably the most so we'll start there so inside these boxes they came in a five set at Costco for about $20 um, it's really awesome because I love the lid and the shape of them, but you could put them in anything. I also love how they hold uh, gallon sized baggies, which is what I tend to use. So inside the box I have 10 math centers and then I've got our journal, example journal activities already prepped and in here. And then I also have the 10 printables or independent seat work. So that takes care of three rotations of my guided math rotations. The other two rotations that I have are technology and then teacher table. So truly this is where all my prep is because teacher table I take care of with my guided math lessons and activities and that's a separate video that I'll show you. And then um, the technology is going to be apps and websites um, on our computers or on some sort of device. So those I don't necessarily have a, a, the same amount of weekly prep. All right, let's get into it. So I've got my August and September at the top here and they're different activities. I've got the teacher direction card here. And then, um, so I will teach my class the game or the activity using this card. And then I will put the activity into the math tub for that week. This one, um, all of these first grade centers for August are going to be building upon end of the year kindergarten standards. So in this particular game, students are packing a backpack. So they're counting um, different objects and matching it up to the backpack. So this would be a 10 and ones, but not as formally as place value. So as formal as place value counting the cookies, erasers, domino. This is a 10 and one. So it's a little bit of um, a nice review from those kinder standards and um, different students will be able to do this in a partner situation. So anything that they don't know, their partner might be able to help them with. And then it goes on from there. This one is um, finishing a number pattern. This one is simple um, sums to eight. So they add up the sum on the crayon and match it to the correct crayon box and it goes on from there. Each box holds about three um, centers packs, three months worth and um, what's awesome about first grade is that I have the entire year done. So in that bundle all nine of the, the monthly sets are finished. 
And then to go along with that, I have activities in their journal. So I keep an example journal because it's what I teach from. So I'm able to show students how to do the formatting and uh, where to glue certain things, but then they are responsible for finishing the activity and, um, and having their own math thinking there. So that's first grade, and just like first grade, I've got the same thing happening for kinder. So August and September, kinder, I've got fun activities that my students can do in partners or in groups. And as we're just learning about these different activities, I wanted to include a lot of activities where it could be done um, as guided practice. So these are all different activities that um, build upon counting and cardinality, basic, beginning, understanding of the numbers one through five. And then once we master one through five, we're going to build upon that um, and keep going six through 10. For example, here's an activity where students get to go over and use a dry erase marker to work on number formation. So they're going to work on number formation for the different numbers and what you can limit it to 0 through 5 or you can um, expand it for 6 through 10. And then in their journal what's awesome is that I made sure the activities match up so if I'm doing an activity here on number formation I'm going to have something in my journal to go along with that that we can do as a group or I can learn to start doing independently. So I would glue one apple and we practice writing the number one and so on. So all of these activities are going to match up to our, our center activities. And the printables I'm not showing you in this video because they're just in independent practice pages. But there are 10 printables for each grade level per month. All right, and then second grade. So again, we have the same type of concept, but I've now upped the rigor and taken it to end of the year first grade standards, beginning of the year second grade standards. So in this particular game in kinder, we were just counting the dots on the crayon, but now in second, we are doing sums to 20. And so we're reviewing sums to 20. We can use manipulatives if we need to, we need to have that support, and we're sorting them by their sums. And here in this apple, counting one rather than number formation, we are now completing different number patterns, even numbers, counting by fives, counting by tens. So students will fill in the missing number on the apple. Then in our journal, it's the same thing. We have um, different activities that go along with the activities that I've been doing in centers. So that's how that works for my second grade journal. I hope this helps you to maybe get an idea or two about organization and also maybe help you fill up those guided map rotations. Talk to you later.